Hi guys, Justice Aruna Samani in big trouble as right groups drag him and other presidential election petition court members to 70 world leaders over election judgment. This is interesting. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The International Society for Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law, Inter-Society, Nigeria. The Ikwechi Research Institute and Organization, Chicago, USA. The Civil Liberties Organization, the Southeast Zone, and the Southeast Base relation of democracy and human rights organizations have dragged Justice Aruna Samani, JCA, and other 2023 Presidential Electoral Petition Tribunal members to 70 world leaders over the judgment of presidential election in Nigeria. The group said that the court followed the failure of the Justice Samani-led 2023 presidential election petition tribunal to publicly explain who actually wrote the widely condemned judgment of September 6, 2023, demanded in our joint statement of September 2, 2023. The chairman of Intersociety, Mr. Emeka, in a letter to labor union leaders, pro-democratic bodies, and opposition political parties signed on behalf of other human rights groups said that the 5 2023 presidential election peti petition tribunal penalists were dragged to 70 respected world democratic leaders through its letters dated October 2nd, 2023 to 31 EU leaders, including H.E. Roberta Metzola, the president of the European Parliament, H.E. Charles Michael, the European Council president, H.E. Van de Leon, the European Commission president, and 28 other top European Union diplomats. He said that the petition also were 30 other democratic world leaders through our later dated October 5th, 2023, addressed to the head of the delegation of the European Union to Nigeria and their co and the ambassadors of the Netherlands, the Finland, the Poland, the Federal Republic of Germany, the France, the Spain, the, the Czech Republic, the Italy, Denmark, the Portugal, the Republic of Greece, the Austria, the Hungary, the Bulgaria, the Slovakia, and the Sweden, and the High Commissioners of the Britain, the Canadian and the Australia, the ambassadors of the United States of America, the Israel, the Royal Norway, the Highland, the High Commissioner, the Switzerland, the Brazil, the Japan, the South Korean, and the Mexico. The receipt of our letter of October 3rd, 2023, where the seven top UK government officials Honorable James Clavely, then the UK Foreign Secretary, the Honorable Andrew Mitchell, UK Minister of State for Foreign Commonwealth, and Dave Office Minister for Deaf and Africa, and a member of House of Commons, Honorable Annie Maria, the UK Minister of State, the Foreign Commonwealth, and Deaf Office. Development Office, I believe that's, and a member of House of Commons, 
Honorable David Rutley, MP for Marchfield, the UK Parliamentary Under Secretary for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, and a member of House of Commons, Honorable Lee, the UK Parliamentary Under Secretary for Foreign, Commonwealth and Dave Office, and a member of House of Commons, David Patrick Paul Atom, the Lord Atom of Liverpool, and a respected member of House of Lords, and Dean Carolina Annie Kurtz of the House of Lords. We also wrote to Honorable Justin Perry James, PC MP, the Prime Minister of Canada, through Honorable Malini Jolie, PC MP, the Foreign Minister of Canada, and the two top U.S. diplomats in New York and Washington, D.C., the USA, through our letter dated October 8, 2023. We had asked the presidential election petition uh, court judges to public explain who wrote the judgment of the 2023 presidential election petition tribunal in Nigeria, where, when, and how were they written, and how come the Impri Mutra of Heda of Tinubu's presidential legal team was found in all the 798 pages of the judgment certified through copy CTC issued by the presidential election tribunal. Apart from our letters going down the memory lane with regards to the subject matter, including controversies inherent in the judgment, we also strongly request for comprehensive visa ban against member of Nigerians 2023 presidential election petition tribunal and their nuclear families for example, their wives, their children, and nannies, and those of them already residing or staying or holidaying or visiting or working in such democracy enabling countries. The UK government, through her Nigerian unit of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, had on October 9, 2023, replied us inter society and others through number T0 2023 slash 17959 in which the government of UK reaffirmed as follows the UK is a long-term supporter of democracy in Nigeria throughout the elections we communicated that anti-democratic behavior must not be met with impunity as the Minister for Development and Africa set out in the in these trends 21st February statement on the Nigerian elections. The UK will impose visa restrictions on those who have been evidence to undermine free and fair elections in Nigeria. And the Canadian government had also replied through her Prime Minister's office mail to us dated October 19, 2023, in which the government wrote as quoted below. I would like to acknowledge receipt of your Correspondence of October 8, 2023, sent to Prime Minister Justin. Please be assured that your comments offered on behalf of the International Society for Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law and others have been carefully reviewed. I, I, I note that you have also addressed your letter to through the Honorable Melanie Julie, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, why the Prime Minister appreciates having been made aware of your correspondence, he would leave the issues you raised to be considered by the Foreign Minister as Asani, the Executive Correspondent Officer or Agent, the La Correspondent Executive, the Correspondency Service or Service, the La Correspondency, the La Heart Direction, for Canadian Prime Minister's office by its headship of the widely commended 
uh, and strongly con condemned and strongly rejected 2023 presidential election petition judgment nomination of Aruna Samani JCA as a justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria is not only strongly opposed and roundly rejected, but also seen many as a reward for a bad job well done. His elevation to the Supreme Court of Nigeria is also capable of causing more corporate image damages to what remains of the country's international rule of law, rating and integrity, if any. So guys, I can't just continue, continue here. There is fire on the mountain already. Well, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for stopping by.